Hi friends, welcome back. Today is December 23rd and I believe the entire US is about to go into a polar plunge. It is supposed to get really cold in the next few days. Tonight we're gonna have a low temperature of 8 degrees here where I lived. And I know that's not a whole lot for a lot of you guys, but for me and my area that is really cold. So I've decided to take a bunch of fig cuttings so that I don't lose these figs. I am afraid that 8 degrees is going to desiccate a lot of the branches on my fig tree and I want to make sure they survive. So if you want to save your fig tree and if you want to have some cuttings for next year, here is a method that I'm going to be using to propagate my figs next year. I collected some of the branches from my tree. These are the smaller diameter ones. The ones that are thin are the ones that are most likely to die. So I am taking those. The thick ones I'm leaving on the tree and hoping for the best. I am pretty confident that the types of fig trees I have will survive the 8 degree weather. And it's only going to be for one night. And then it will get progressively warmer. So it's going to be okay. So I am not going to root these out just yet, but I will be saving them. So I'm going to be putting them in a Ziploc bag with some paper towels and I'm going to throw that into my fridge in the bottom crisp drawer and in the spring around March, I'll take them out and start rooting them out because I don't have a whole lot of space in my plant room. As you can see, it's already too packed, but in March, when it starts getting warmer, I'll take them out of there and I'll do a follow-up video and show you guys how to root your cuttings. So the method is pretty simple. I have a one gallon Ziploc bag in here and I have labeled this right here and I'm saying this is up. So I wanna make sure that when I put my figs in here, I point them in the right direction so I know which way it's up on the branch. So that way when we're sprouting them in the spring, I know which way to put into the ground and which way to point up into the sky. These are Celeste figs and they should survive the winter no problem. But sometimes the trees, they died all the way to the root and then they re-sprout. So I don't wanna lose this beautiful material and I want to be able to grow and propagate this tree because it is one of my favorite figs that I've ever had and my daughter loves the figs so I want to make sure that I keep growing it. So you want to make sure that your twigs and branches fit into the bag so I'm going to be cutting them and I'm going to be leaving about three nodes per per branch to make sure that there's enough rooting area. This part right here is a node. That's where the leaves and branches come out of. You can see that this other end has no node. So I'm gonna be cutting this right here. And this piece right here is not gonna be really usable. So I'm gonna cut that piece off. And in the springtime, when I, in the springtime when I put this into the ground or into a sprouting media, this part right here where the node comes out that's what's going to produce this the roots so I'm going to go one two three nodes right here and cut this one right here these two pieces right here are going to be perfect for rooting and now I'm just going to put them into the side here and make sure that the side that is pointing up is on the side of the bag that says up Now you want to take some paper towel that is damp oops and you want to wrap all of your all of your stems twigs branches whatever you want to call them and some paper towels <clears throat> you want to protect the bottom you want to keep that moist and and the top one as well to avoid too much uh evaporation but you should be fine just by putting it into the baggie you should check on your twigs every once in a while maybe like every three weeks or so to make sure they're not getting moldy and it will i'll make updates i'll make future updates on how i'm watching them throughout this next few months so let me follow my own advice here and stick them the way in the right direction into the bag Here we go. 
Okay, so here we are. I have all of them pointing upwards this way. And now, this whole package here is gonna go into the fridge for about three months. So if you have any figs, get outside, collect some branches right now, and put them into your fridge, and you can root them out later in the spring, or you can start rooting them out right now if you have space in your grow room. I don't have a ton of space, like I said before, so these are gonna go in the fridge, and then I'm gonna sprout them in my heat mat, and once they have, uh, once they have rooted, I'm gonna put them in pots and then throw them outdoors so that I can grow out during the springtime. Thank you so much for watching today's video and happy holidays to you. Christmas is just two days away and I am excited about spending time with family. I hope to make a couple of more videos about my house plants. I have lots of house plants here and I have some stuff that I brought from the outdoors indoors during the winter months. And my lemon tree is flowering right now, but it only has two flowers. So there's not a lot to be making videos about right now, but I have lots of plants for next year. So please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and Happy New Year if I don't see you before then.